So you hear a lot of the time people talking about fitting aftermarket brakes, performance brake products to increase uh, the braking capacity of your car. But how much of a difference does fitting aftermarket products actually make? Well, what we're going to show you here is we're going to show you exactly how EBC pads and discs perform compared to original equipment parts. We've gone into dealerships from Ford, from BMW and from Nissan and we've bought the, the replacement parts that you would buy if you walked in there and had any of these cars and we've got all the invoices to back it up. And what we're going to be doing at Castle Coombe is we're going to be testing these products. We're going to be testing EBC back to back with OE and we're going to be harnessing data to show you and present to you the, the, the facts of how EBC performance products improve your braking compared to the original equipment parts. So we've already said that we've bought OE brakes out of the dealership for each one of these vehicles, but there's also lots of other measures that we've taken to make sure that this is a completely fair test. For instance, all of the vehicles are running EBC's braided brake lines, making sure that we're gonna get no flex in the pedal, and every vehicle has been prepped and bled with EBC's BF307 Plus uh, racing fluid, which is a very high performance dot four, to make sure that we're not getting any brake fade. We don't want that in our results whatsoever. Uh, and we're going to be logging all of the data and we're going to be talking through that in the video and making it available to show that there is no stone unturned in this test to make sure that it is completely fair. We're just seeing what the, what the uh, importance and the significance is of fitting aftermarket pads and discs compared to original equipment pads and discs. So why don't we go and have a look around the cars and we'll talk through the EBC products that we've chosen and specifically why we've chosen each one of these vehicles. Okay, so let's start off with the Ford Fiesta ST, the baby of the group. So why have we chosen this car? It's a hot hatch, front wheel drive, 200 horsepower. Uh, it's very representative of, of the types of cars, the types of performance cars that a lot of our customers are using. So we've gone for EBC USR discs, front and rear, and EBC yellow stuff pads, front and rear. So yellow stuff is a fantastic, um, it's a fantastic road pad. It's also suitable for light track work and on a light, uh, relatively modest powered vehicle like this, yellow stuff is gonna give us fantastic performance in the track. Okay, so on to the second car in the test. We've got the BMW 1M, rear wheel drive, about 340 horsepower, a very representative sports saloon car. Uh, and for this vehicle, we've chosen uh, EBC Blue Stuff Pads, but we're actually going to be running those Blue Stuff Pads on original BMW discs. So we're going to be running it on the bimetallic brake discs to show you that EBC pads aren't just developed to work on our discs, they're also developed to work on the original disc. And what we're going to be showing here is how Blue Stuff, which is EBC's, uh, it's a track focused, but still R90 approved, it's still road legal material. And we're going to be showing you how that performs fantastic on the road, but also does exceptionally on the track. Right, so now on to our third and final car, the daddy, the big one, the Nissan GTR, the R35. A very heavy, highly powered, about 550 horsepower car, four wheel drive, massive traction out of corners, and putting a load on the brake system like no other car out there on the road. So this is an excellent car for, for testing out EBC's new racing uh, line of pads. So we're gonna be putting EBC's SG2F, swept groove, two piece floating disc, front and rear, along with EBC's latest RP pads, and that is gonna give us the maximum on-track performance. So these pads aren't R90 approved, they're not developed for road use, this is developed for hardcore track use. Gonna give us fantastic friction coefficient, zero fade, and really we're gonna push these things hard on track, and we're gonna show you just how high a level of performance can be achieved with EBC racing products. Okay, so we've walked you through the cars, why we've chosen them, and what EBC products we're gonna be fitting to each vehicle. So what next? What we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be fitting the EBC pads and discs to each car and embedding them in as a match set. So we're gonna be bedding the pad into the disc, applying the transfer layer, applying the friction film to the brake disc, and then removing all of the pads and discs together as a match set. Then we're gonna be fitting the OE pads and discs onto the vehicles and bedding them in again. We're going to be bedding in all of the brakes using the exact same process, again, taking out the variability of the bed-in process. So when we get to Castle Coombe, we're going to have match sets of EBC and OE pads and discs already bedded in, ready to put on the car. We're going to hook them up with some data loggers, and then we're going to see what's what.